What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I've got a pretty cool book in here that I'm going to unbox. But then I thought I'd do something a little different. I would do a flip through of the book because it's a raw book, and I would talk about grading for that book. So go through my grade estimate of this book. So stay tuned. <music> Alright, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So, like I said, I've got one box here, there's one book inside, it is a raw book that I just recently picked up, and this is one of the books that's uh, very likely going to be part of my uh, keeper set of books. And so that's the, I, I've talked about this before, I have basically, and it's, it's not some like hard and fast rule, but I... I uh, have about 50 books that I put on a, I call it like a keeper's list, and that just helps keep everything under control and managed <laughs> for books that I'm, I'm not putting up for sale. And so what I thought I'd do with this one is, because it's just one book, I haven't done this for a little while, uh, I thought I would do kind of like a grading video and a flip through video all in one. All right, so the book was in that box. There were like little bubble pack things in there and then it's inside this as well. So get this guy open. All right. And if it's a raw book, you can probably kind of guess uh, at least what type of book it is given what I uh, have a lot of on my my keepers list and this is a I'm gonna make sure I am careful with how I cut these so I don't accidentally like nick the book or something um, it is a golden age Batman book that I just recently picked up all right there we go so and the other thing I've said before is that whenever I buy raw books I like to check them right away just to make sure everything is complete, doesn't look like there's any restoration, anything like that. All right, so if you notice a little cut there, I just went and washed my hands because I wanted to make sure I had my hands clean for uh, handling the book. So this is, this is the comic. This is Batman number 65, which is this really cool Catwoman cover uh, with the, you know, kind of like the red background. There are a number of, I just brought a couple other books I have that there are a number of really like cool reddish covers that are part of the, the Batman run. There's this one, Batman 62, uh, three issues earlier with a you know Catwoman cover. Where I always love this one because it just looks like she's chucking cats at them. And then there's the one that I showed recently in an unboxing, uh, Batman 42, which is her first cover on uh, the Batman title. And then another just red cover that, that I really like is uh, this one here, Batman 52 which is this really cool Joker cover. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can see this one actually, so the, this one got a, point a 1.5 and it's because it has a coupon cutout. So it's graded very similarly to how like a Hulk 181 would grade if it had the you know Marvel value stamp cut out. And, it, and if you had it as a blue label. All right, so you said we've got this book here. It says 52 pages, but it's always worthwhile to check. I go to the www.comics.org and make sure that 52 means total pages, not just internal pages, something like that. And it is actually 52 pages. And what that means is each side of each page, including the front and back covers. So what that means is that it would be 24 interior pages uh, because, each, um, because each side of that page has, it counts as two. And then, or each side counts as one, and so that gets you to 48, and then you got the front and back covers, which is four more, so that's 52. So, you can see here, outside of the bag looks way nicer when you don't have all that, like, rippling and stuff. So, really cool, like, glossy-looking cover. And I can see, like, a loose piece on the back, so we'll see what the... Yeah, the back's okay. A little bit of damage up on the top. You can see here, you know, it's a bright bright looking cover but that's what I was talking about I could see that like little piece sticking up at the top so definitely some damage along the top and uh, so when you when you're doing a page count you know you just so this would be one two 
and then I'll, I'm gonna count 12 pages to the center, then I should hopefully see the staples for the centerfold, then 12 more pages, then the back cover. So I'll speed through this just to do the page count real quick. All right, so that's 12 pages. Then you can see there's the centerfold with the two staples, it is fully attached. And so now what I want to see is 12 more pages before I get to the back cover. Okay, and so I had 12 more pages to the back cover. You can see there's a little damage to that, uh, let's see, it's like to the page, so you can see it there. But it doesn't get into the interior art, so I don't, like the panel art, so I don't really, it doesn't really matter. And you can see like the interior art's pretty cool on this one. Here's the first kind of like opening splash, splash page. Got Batman and Robin there. So yeah, I, I'm, from what I can see right now, I'm, I'm happy with, with this book. Uh, so it was sold graded as a 335 and that, you know, kind of like on the surface seems really good. And I'll do a flip through and, and we'll, uh, we'll go over that a little bit more, but seems pretty, pretty reasonable because it's definitely attached to both staples. You know, there's a tear down there at the, the staple there, but I mean like really actually I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, the cover gloss on this one. looks really sharp. So, all right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and then we'll kind of do the flip through and talk about grading. All right, so after taking a little bit closer look at the book, I decided I'm not going to do a flip through. Uh, the reason being that the bottom staple, it's attached, but it's close enough to not being attached <laughs> that I'm a little hesitant to do a full flip through and have the additional stress that would be put on the, that staple. And it's because I, I don't want to risk detaching it. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the grading, uh, kind of how I would assess this book. And so when you're talking about a lower grade book like this, for me, one of the things that's the most helpful is actually just looking at other books or considering other books that are in similar grades. And so that's where just having that base of knowledge where you've seen a lot of other books uh, really becomes helpful. Now there are a few things that you can look at to get you, I feel like, into the range relatively quickly. And so one of the first things to do is look for the major flaws. And so for, to me, the major flaws on this book are, you've got the, uh, the chipping that's over here on this edge. So you've got some, you know, basically some little pieces missing from that edge. That's one of the major flaws. Uh, the other major flaws are along the spine. So let's see here. And so you can see, if we go along the spine, you've got a pretty good sized tear here. It's probably an inch and a half, inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. And then you've got other little tiny tears and just general wear along the spine. You've got this little missing, or you know, broken off piece right here. And then the top half actually looks pretty solid. This staple is really good. That staple is very well attached. This staple down here, you can see where you've got that color loss. That's where I'm more concerned that that's a pretty fragile part of the paper and could just tear away. And I, I don't want to risk that. And you can see it, let's see. When you go to the interior, let's see if I can get it to show. You go to the interior, you can see how it's holding on, but not a lot. <laughs> so I don't want to risk that. Whereas like the top staple, you can see looks really good how that one's holding on. So just something I don't want to risk. Now, the other thing that I always do uh, is you want to, because there may be some things that aren't really apparent from the front. And so like from the front here, you don't really see any staining, anything that looks like staining. Uh, but a lot of times these covers will hide stuff like that. And so if you go to the interior, let's see, so you can see there's, looks like a little stain up at the top. And then there's a, there's a bigger one down here. So you can see that's a pretty good sized stain. Um, that's something that would really hold your book back quite a bit even if it was, you know, perfect. But you can see here, 
you know, you don't really see it at all. You can kind of see it now real close. You see that little line behind Robin, you know, that's where that stain is, but it really hides itself pretty well on this older paper, this, uh, you know, this, and this darker, this darker cover. Uh, so, so the main flaws I see on the front are that tear, that the stain. So we've got the, the tear over, I'll put the book down. We've got the tear over here. We've got this kind of larger stain right here. We've got a little bit of paper loss and it's just some regular, you know, spine damage. Now, if we t flip the book over, take a look at the back, you can see a few more flaws back here. Uh, the biggest one, obviously, that jumps out is at the top. You've got quite a bit of paper loss up at the top there. You know, and I'm not going to mess with those. I'm guessing these little pieces are going to fall off. <laughs> That's a pretty likely outcome. Then we've also got what's going on here, which is a pretty big tear, which looks like this piece is about to come off, but it is still attached. It's, it's the same place as that tear on the spine that you could see from the front. And so the main flaws really on this book are uh, the that tear, the one and a half, one and a quarter inch tear on the front. We've got about another inch and a half of tears on the back. We've got some paper loss and, you know, but in general, a pretty nice presenting copy and some staining. All right, so then what I like to do for a book like this is I like to look at what are the, the limiters, the big flaws like I was talking about, and what are the max grades approximately that I expect to get with that. And I always like to reference back to this little like card that ETA Nick put together that has kind of some different types of flaws, different sizes of flaws, and uh, gives you an idea kind of what the max grade you can get is. I'll, I'll throw, I have a little printout of it that I sometimes reference and I'll throw a picture in here. So this is that card. You know, I'll hold it in place so you can see it. He has it on his site and you can, uh, you can download it and print it or whatever you want. Uh, but I always find this helpful for reference. And so when you look at this, if you have three inches of tears, your max grade is a 4.0. And I'd say I have about three inches of tears on this cover. Now, his card also has, if you have about a quarter size piece of the cover missing, your max grade is a 3.0. I've actually seen covers missing larger pieces than that and get higher grades. So, you know, everything you kind of take with what you've seen, you, you take that knowledge in and, and try to use it as best you can. And so I would say with, with this piece missing on the side, and you know this missing on the top back here we're in a similar situation where the max grade is around a three five i, I don't see that being a four this does with that back cover it doesn't look like a 4.0 book to me and then with that stain that stain is not the limiter uh, that stain isn't big enough to get down into that that range because i've seen stains that are i'd say you know cover like a good amount down on the bottom here and if the book looks really nice it's gotten grades higher than that uh, so to me the big limiters on this book are the tear and the missing pieces and I think they both max the book out around a three to a three five and this book was sold as a three to a three five so I think that seems like a very accurate grade it's attached at both staples uh, you have you definitely have wear to it even though like I said the the presentation of the book especially from the front is really nice you know it's it's a clean looking front cover very little creasing uh there's just this little crease down in the corner there which that that is definitely not something that's impacting the grade here so that's why what i do here is i, I look at what do i really expect to see in that type of grade and yeah i mean it may look like you know a nice presenting copy which is great that's what that's what you want there are things on this book that are going to hold it back and like I said this the tears and then that paper loss the, the missing pieces on the back cover and on the, the edge there to me are the big limiters on this book are going to hold it back to about a three to a three five to me the presentation of this book this book is not in the twos uh, I mean it you never know what you're going to get when you submit that you can always be surprised uh, but this does not look like a 2-0 book to me uh, but because of the flaws that are on there, it doesn't look like a 4-0 book to me either. And so that's why I say 
three to three five seems like a very reasonable grade for this book. Now I will say one other thing on this book that uh, just kind of something to point out and why sometimes you just leave things the way they are is that you can see up here and it's on there's one on the back too uh, but you can see how there's this like 50 or whatever like somebody was pricing it probably and they wrote $50 on the cover and you can see it's actually a little lighter around it and there's another one up here they probably had a different price and they tried to erase it now it's a little hard to see here but I have um, this black light I recommend getting one of these uh, it's useful to help try to find things like color touch and, and that kind of stuff and it doesn't really show up too well on camera but when you shine it with the black light things that are white really show up yeah there you go so you can see that so you can see it's a lot clearer like so there you can barely tell here now you can see that it gets really light around the places that they tried to erase it and so that's why you have to be really careful with trying to remove pencil on areas that are uh, colored in because you can cause a fair amount of color loss and so in a grade like this it doesn't really matter but if it was a high grade book it would it would make a big difference you can see they did the same thing here um, if I let's see here, I'll show up. And it's not showing up quite as much, but on that yellow, you can see the color loss as well, right around the 50 as I kind of like flash the the black light on it. Um, but but that's what can happen if you if you don't do the right type of uh, restoration removal. Like they probably had it priced at like 25 bucks or something, and then they're like, no, I want to charge 50. So they erased it and then damaged the book and then wrote 50 instead of just putting it in a bag or something, you know, and and uh, writing 50 on a, a sticker and putting it on the bag. But um, but yeah, just something else that I, I thought might be be helpful, uh, things that you can help you find certain types of flaws. Black lights are definitely one of them. And that one, I, I really do recommend this one. It's I mean, it's it's huge. It's like, I don't know if it's like 100 lights. <laughs> I used to have one that just had like five and things that didn't show up very well. And I got this one and uh, this one. Uh, this is uh, recommended by uh, Omega Red on Instagram. His presser uses this light. Uh, he had a picture of, of you know showing some glue uh, with a black light, and I was like, what black light does he use? And he sent me the picture, and so I definitely recommend this one. This Cobra uh, black light. You can get it on Amazon or whatever. But all right, so that's how I graded that book. That's how some things I do to try to look for things like restoration or just trying to help find other flaws like that. All right, so I hope you found that useful, just the way that I approach grading this book, looking for those limiters that are going to keep it from getting above a certain grade, and also looking at how I've seen other books and what I see as a, a 2-0, a 1-0, a 4-0, that kind of thing. And I mean, yeah, it's always possible. Maybe I get lucky, it gets a 4-0, you know, because it is a it is a nice presenting book, but it just, it has enough of these certain types of flaws that I usually wouldn't see in that type of grade. Uh, now you can see I've also put it into a Mylar, so it looks super nice now. Mylar always, it's just, it's amazing how, how nice it makes these books look compared to that, uh, the standard, you know, poly bags. Um, but yeah, really, Really beautiful copy of this book. Really bright colors, deserves to be in a Mylar. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, you found something useful. Sorry I didn't do that flip through, I just did not want to risk detaching that bottom staple. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here if you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.